Guys, I am thinking of buying the Celotica lenses. Which color do you think I should get? Who's Barbara? Dear Barbara. Anyway, guys, I was thinking of getting the Hydrocore Mel and I really like it. Like, I'm thinking of getting another pair, but I'm not sure which one. Bubs, help me select. I'll show you the Hydrocore Mel. Okay. Someone talks like this. Where are they? Like, you have to wait for them to finish the sentence. Where are they? <laughs> people talk like that i don't know i feel like in england people might hey guys this is what mel looks like let's look at it i think this will look good in my eyes yeah i like it this is hydrocore mel it doesn't have that limbal ring at the outside of the edge which makes it really really um natural looking i get a blue one which one like topazio marine azul, azul looks really nice ice as well Ooh, this is I like the Zool, it was my favorite one. Can I get a Zool for myself? Bobs. Well, I know I want to get Hydrocore, I don't want to get natural colors. Hydrocore are the most natural looking one. Of them. But they're not. Also guys, I'm on this website, Paralentis, but I'm not sure if I want to order from here because I've heard from a lot of people that this website takes a very long time to ship. And I want something which doesn't take a lot of time. So fingers crossed. Let's see what I end up deciding. Okay, so update. I have placed the order for the lenses and they are not here. It's actually been probably two weeks. I would say it's still been 11 days, so almost two weeks, and I am freaking out because my order is not here. I contacted them, and it basically means that my order hasn't shipped from Brazil to Cyprus. That is where the lenses are coming from. So um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm getting two pairs. I'm getting Hydrocore Mel and I'm getting Hydrocore Quartzo. I in the end, decided to place the order from Vision Marketplace because I have a friend who has a 10% discount code for uh, the lenses and I use that discount code and I got them for that. And I also wanna say that Vision Marketplace is the website which has the lenses for a fairly a reasonable price compared to other websites, but I've heard that they ship so much more faster. So I'm guessing you kind of pay for the waiting. So if you don't wanna wait, you pay extra. If you wanna wait and you're keen on waiting, you pay, not pay extra. I have a clue. The lenses have arrived. After three weeks of agony that they put me through and me following up constantly on email, I'm glad they didn't blacklist me. <laughs> My lenses are here. Literally, I emailed them so much that they probably were like annoyed. But here they are! I have pretty dark eyes as you can see. And I'm gonna show you how to put on contact lenses as well if you don't know how. So let's go! What the contact looks like very natural looking and if you're putting lenses on for the first time then just do this like if you want you can do this as well but I like to do this like push your eye from the bottom and just stick it in yep not gonna lie it's gonna take a little bit of practice so this is what the color looks like compared to my dark eye so I completely covers the dark the you know the darker portion of my eye and it just makes it look as if i have green eyes also i think it looks pretty natural it's one of those natural looking lenses now, the difference between the hydrocore and uh the natural ones is that it doesn't have a limber ring so it doesn't have that dark ring outside and i think just that just makes it look even more natural all right i have the lenses in both of my eyes now this i don't know if i've mentioned probably have a gazillion times is the hydrocore mel and I think they are super comfortable. I feel like in some lightings, they look a little strange. Like in this one, my eyes look really big and weird. You look weird. If I move and go towards like normal lighting that you would see me in a room, I think they look really, really natural. Look at that. They are super comfortable to wear. I have a prescription in my lenses. It's minus four because my eyesight is really, really bad. And honestly, I wear the Acuvi lenses and this just feels exactly the same. Like the comfort level is the same. If you are wearing contact lenses for the first time, your eyes are gonna take a little bit of time to adjust to these. I think the wear time is probably three to four hours, but I have worn them the whole day. I wouldn't recommend you doing that. It's just that I have bad eyesight and I tend to wear contacts the whole day. My eyes are used to that. But if you are someone whose eyes aren't really used to that kind of thing, then be safe, don't be sorry, and don't wear them all the time. All right, now this is the Hydrocore Quartzo. 
This is the Hydrocore Mel. This is like a blue green color and this is a light green color. And this looks like, I mean, compared to them, they could look a little similar, but they're obviously different. Yeah. Yeah. This one makes me look as if I have wolf eyes. <laughs> like it really looks wolfy. And another thing that I've noticed is that this has like a slightly darker circle. Yeah, circle. So it makes it look natural. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I don't think I look serious with this party hat on. Hmm. But which one do you like more? Do you like the hydrocore quartz or do you like the mel? Hmm. I like the blue ones more. Like, you like the blue ones more? I like the blue ones too. I feel like blue ones look better. So I this is like white light. Now let's go in yellow, yellow light. light. Yellow light is here. All the great thing about these lenses is that they look good on different complexions. I feel like you would look really good in blue contacts. So this is the quartzo and this is the mel. So the sun is about to set now, so it's not that bright outside, but this is what they look like in natural lighting. Let's put the other one on for this one. So this is what I look like. Now, what I said about the wolfy eyes, they def definitely like, I think they look very wolfy. Another thing that I've noticed with these ones is that the quartzo ones are slightly thicker compared to the Mel ones. And I think that's probably because this lens has a little bit of the green thing in the center and the blue thing in the uh, around the edges. So that is why it's a little thicker compared to the Mel, but Mel are more um, comfortable to wear. These are comfortable as well, but not as comfortable as Mel. I think comparing and contrasting, these ones look better in person, but Mel looks better on camera and in photographs. This one doesn't look as good in photographs. As the lens is quartzo in yellow lighting and let's go in natural lighting. My favorite color is my natural color though. That looks the best. <laughs> but I like this as well. This is, this is nice. I want to know why it looks the best? Why? Because you've seen yourself the longer. Yeah, I've seen myself longer in those colored eyes, so it looks better. You're smart, burbs. You're smart. You. So that was my mini review on the Celotica contact lenses. I hope you enjoyed the video. I don't know if I clarified, but I got the lenses from Vision Marketplace. And I'm going to leave a link to that website if you are willing to order from there. But there are a couple of other websites that also sell these lenses, like Lens.me, I think, and the Perlentis website. And then the Celotica official website but they don't have prescription lenses so if you want prescription ones and vision marketplace is a good one because you can get like separate lenses for different eyesight like if you have if your eyesight is weak one is minus three one is minus four then you can get you can like tailor that order which is great and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye